Okay, we are looking at how uh, SQL and VBA integration would work and mainly for our big data that uh, we have. So in, uh, in uh, Quant Finance, we will have big data that we'd like to load and unload from SQL. So for the calculation, we would use SQL with R or MATLAB, but uh, all those long parts would be stored in SQL because uh, we can join, merge, uh, or do some simple application as well very easily as compared to any other uh, framework. So just imagine you have um, uh, 10,000 paths for uh, many things and you want to find out the percentile or you want to do anything. And uh, if you do that in Excel, it's a, it's a, logo, it's a lot of stuff because those 10,000 lines will be trouble for you. So wherever we would like to have a long calculation uh, uh, like percentile or uh, some simple calculation, uh, which could be done in, uh, in SQL, we'll keep it in SQL. So file opening and cleaning is in, uh, and closing is easier in SQL. Offset and the percentile is in easy in SQL. Uh, keeping things one and the other uh, using like VLOOKUPS um, are easy in SQL. A million row calculation is uh, easy in SQL. It's possible in SQL, not possible in uh, Excel. And all those kind of stuff is uh, always easy in SQL. So. Uh, we have few terms that uh, we need to um, uh, use. We need to activate ActiveX uh, Data Objects 2.8 library and then we can use the templates that are given to us. Now if you are using SQL Server 2012, we don't need to worry about uh, the username and the password because SQL Server is Microsoft, it could uh, still run with your own credential. So you don't need to worry about password and username while you use SQL Server because it's Microsoft and your open system also Microsoft. Okay, now we have uh, importing of data. Um, so there are some operations that uh, we can do in SQL. The other uh, way of looking at it is we can do probably some of them in MATLAB as well. So MATLAB is easy to do. Um, uh, we can create uh, temporary tables, uh, we can do some uh, things by order by group by and such stuff. So this is the final code, uh, the red things are the only that you need to edit. Now data source is generally name of your computer. Uh, you can check that out from the properties. Uh, provider, uh, if it's uh, an SQL uh, server which you have installed then it's uh, SQL or LEDB. If it's an express edition, uh, SQL Express or some other thing, then it would change. The SJ database is the database that I created and person is my table. And when I run this, uh, I'll probably get the data. Let me quickly go and show how this would work. So this is the code. I need just uh, this small piece of code. As I told you, uh, everything would remain constant. You need, at your system, you need to change the source and catalog and persons. I think that that's all. So, when I delete this and I run this, data appears here. And let me take you to the SQL data. So, if you see here, server name, uh, username, uh, and everything. So, I'll, I've used this server name. So. If, if this is other this expansion, then you can use that. Okay, I'm connecting it. Now, SJ database is here. Uh, tables are here. And uh, select of 100 rows, and we'll see the entries. We'll quickly edit this entry and see if uh, they change there. So, edit top 200 entry. It's changing the number, so. Okay. Okay, here we go. Just checking out if it's changed. Yes, it's changed. Let's now try to pull it here. And it changed. So we have uh, linked uh, the VBA with uh, SQL and any changes we do there would be uh, reflected here. So this is how we are going to uh, link uh, things up. Uh, and now we are going to practice how we we'll use SQL uh, to uh, to change uh, things here and there. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful.